Hi, Frank Trillip here. And in this short video, I want to give you a little preview of what we've got coming to the industry and our customers in a couple of weeks with our ADAS Copilot Pro platform. And again, for all of you who don't know about ADAS Copilot Pro, it, it is, in our opinion, the industry's most complete ADAS and calibration knowledge, information, and repair procedures platform. But in this update coming up, we've added something I think is gonna make everybody happy and much more productive in terms of calibration information. So again, as everybody knows, or if you don't know, everything starts with either a scanning of the VIN at the vehicle or copying pasting of the VIN um, in your workstation or ingesting the VIN through an integration. And either way, in our new release coming up in two weeks, um, what we've added is we've added in uh, the ability so again, when we present, we present the system, the component, the location, and the calibration type. Now we've added another, I'm gonna call for lack of a better term, a hints icon, a calibration hints icon, which presents for that particular calibration or that particular ADAS component, the calibration triggers. The calibration trigger is all the things that will trigger a required calibration for that particular module. So in this case, the Ford Cruise Control module, it's a calibration is triggered when the CCM is installed, when a vehicle's been in an accident. By the way, all of these triggers are all from the OEM repair procedures. Again, triggers here uh, in this component. We move down the side obstacle. Triggers for here in this component. Move down to lane keep assist. Trigger here, okay? Move down the park assist, trigger here. Okay, so again, we've added very quick and easy to access triggers just by highlighting with your with your mouse. Now, we've also added another component and we, we, it's in the report. And in the reporting now, we are also going to report, put on a report, the calibration triggers for each individual component that ends up on that report. So again, now you'll be able to put in a report that will include each component, the component location and the calibration type, along with all the triggers that will drive a calibration. So again, you're, you're able to document what systems are on the car, you're able to document where those systems are located, you're able to document what type of calibration it needs, and also now document the triggers that are going to require a calibration. So we're pretty excited about this. Uh, we hope you are too. And again, coming in a couple of weeks. Take care. Bye.